In this video, we're going to be talking about muscle memory research. I'm going to explain to you how there's new research that just came out saying that if you just increase your muscle mass and size just one time in your life, you're actually going to be making changes to the muscle cell itself and to the DNA that's going to stay with you for life even if you stop training. We're going to talk about all those concepts in this video. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Cola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you really want to improve your fitness, health, and nutrition along with me, hit the subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week and I wouldn't want anyone to miss one of the videos. And also hit, hit that bell indicator. That'll indicate to you when a new video is coming out. Okay, let's get right on topic. Let's talk about muscle memory research. Okay, first I'll talk about what muscle memory is, and then we'll talk about all the latest research that is really proving that there are actually changes to the muscle cell itself and changes to the DNA with inside your body that's going to stay with you for life, even if you only lift weights one time in your life. Okay, first of all, what is muscle memory? Muscle memory just means that, like say, say for example, you go to the gym for six months, you increase your muscle mass, your muscle size, and then you stop training, say for six months. When you go back to the gym, you're probably gonna, you're gonna get stronger and fitter quicker than someone who never worked out before. Okay, now the reason why we always felt this was true is because of improvements to your central nervous system. Meaning that, you know, when you go to the gym and say you're squatting and benching, you know, it's a skill, it's a learned behavior. You know, just like hitting a golf ball is, it's a skill, it's a learned behavior. So your central nervous system gets really good at doing that. It gets really good at recruiting muscle cells to contract, just sequencing. So, you know, so when you lay off and you go back to the gym, you already have this skill to some degree. So you'll pick up these movements quicker again and you'll get bigger and stronger quicker than someone who never worked that before. But actually the new research that just came out is saying that muscle memory is much more than that. There are actually changes to the muscle cells into your DNA that actually stays with you indefinitely even when you stop training. Okay, for example, there was a paper that came out actually this year, 2019 in January, that talked about myonuclei. Okay, what myonuclei just means is that there are actually nuclei in muscle cells. So when you increase your muscle mass and strength from working out, the muscle cells increase the number of nuclei, myonuclei, within the muscle cell. Now, years ago, researchers always felt that when you stop training, these nuclei die off and you lose them, they're gone. You have to start training again to reproduce them. But actually, this new research paper discovered that, no, that's not necessarily true. You know, they actually feel now that you keep these nuclei indefinitely. So if you just worked out, say, once in your life when you're young, you know, and you increase your muscle mass, you increase this myonuclei, you can stop training for years. And then when you go back to the gym, you have those nuclei there. They respond quicker to the training. So you can get bigger and stronger quicker than someone who never worked out before. Okay. Now, there was other research done actually last year talking about how there are epigenetic changes to your like your DNA. So for example, if you went to the gym and you started resistance training, actually all the signaling, all the DNA actually changes to your advantage. Okay? And these can be permanent changes. So even if you stop training, but and but then years later go back to the gym, you have this DNA advantage, you have this signaling, things can start, you know, working quicker and better for you. So it really shows the takeaway I want people to get out of this video is that you have to start resistance training and the sooner to, the better. For example, obviously when you're younger, when you're in your 20s, you have the hormone, it's easy for you to make these changes to your muscles. It's easy for you to put on muscle. So if you're young, get to the gym. Even if you don't plan on doing it your whole life, get to the gym for six months to a year, increase your muscle mass. Even if you stop training and then you want to start training again years later, you're going to have a real advantage. It's going to be easier for you to put on muscle mass. There are there there changing out to your muscle cells to your DNA that's going to stay with you indefinitely. So it's more than just a neurological advantage. Okay, that, that's the big takeaway from the video. Now, the other you know part of a, a part of these research that is somewhat debatable. And actually, I'd like I'd like to get everyone's opinion on this. You know, leave a comment about this. For example, these athletes who have been caught you know taking steroids and hormones to improve their 
you know, their athletic performance increase in their muscle mass and size, and say they get suspended. This raises the question, how long should they be suspended? I mean, if they're taking drugs to increase their muscle mass and size, and now this research is indicating that there are actually improvements that can last for life, do these athletes really have a life a lifelong improvement. I'm curious to know what you think about it. But I, I love the debate with you. Okay. Well, I hope you like this video. If you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And remember, if you really want to improve your fitness, health, nutrition, along with me, hit the subscribe button. You know, I put out videos like this every single week, and I wouldn't want anyone to miss one of the videos. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.